I'm going to intro. <laughs> I think I just had a heart attack from how adorable that was. Hey guys, we're finally back at recording stuff. Woo! Yay! And, I, and I thought uh, the audio let's start off with a social link. I thought the I thought the fucking video skipped there, but nope, I just blinked. We're gonna be <laughs> we're gonna be hermiting for the day. Yes, I can't remember if this is the first time we're doing. Nope, it's the second time. It's been a while since I recorded this, people. My you God. know, from what I've seen already, I quite like the social link. Like, the way they kind of interact. It makes people happy. He talks like us. The girl reminds me of me. And I will take offense to that, Reese. I never talk like that. LOL. <laughs> hey. Uh, and yes, that is the correct answer. Damn straight, son. Okay, it's just gonna annoy me that she spelled DAMN wrong! I'm, st I'm being nitpicky. Oh, Jesus. So, uh, yeah! Oh. She opened up! Oh, oh wait. God. She what opened happened? up her legs! Hell yeah! Something wrong's happening! Even the game thinks so. Oh, wait. Although, technically, when you get further in this social link, that comment might be true! Let me read this out. L and I and I am now. Thou shalt have oh, thou as oh, much well, as voice of Herman Arcana. And Morgan Freeman is in your head. You poor, poor son of a bitch. Why can we not escape you, Morgan Freeman? Because you ain't I am God. Oh my god! Oh, oh. sorry, I'll be okay for a while. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so as I was saying. It has been a while since I've recorded this, so I have no clue what we're doing in this video anymore. I don't know exactly what we're doing, Shay. We are going, and we are going in hard. And I will tell you, we will do it the easy way or the hard way. I prefer the hard way because, well, that makes it more fun. I don't even get it. Reese isn't black, and he can do a lot of black man voices. <laughs> God damn it, Reese, are you really my brother from another mother? <laughs> Oh, God. Come on, fool! I'm getting on commentary! Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. your comment on not knowing what we're doing in this um, Let's Play, we're actually just having fun. <laughs> well, we are! This is a fun time! It's time That's to sit entrance. back, relax, and have some fun. And I think at this point I was checking my guide. The man's straight! Your pockets, apparently. And doing some squats at the same time. Look at my squat. Good thigh burning right there. Oh, oh you yeah. Have one second delay. Yeah, it's fine. It was only one second. So anyway. Lo lovely day today. Yeah, it's a lovely day. What is with that stripy pole? How long have we been standing? Here? <laughs> I took really long checking the guide. I'm getting bored. Cut to the. Oh wait. Okay, know. okay, we're moving, we're moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright. So, uh, also, if we say stuff out of sync, that's because we're doing this off YouTube. So, one of us might be a little bit ahead, one of us might be far back. I'm a bit, I'm far back by a few seconds, but it's nothing oh. like breaking. Oh god, and we're going to Jonic's favorite social link. <laughs> oh, you came back. Welcome. Um, what was your name again? Soldier Boy Tell him. Oh my god, what the hell did I just say? I know who you are. I'm not that old. My wife and I were talking about you, Master Shan. I am far above doing Soldier Boy jokes. What the hell did I just Master say? Master Shan, do you like my little friend? Someone gave me the name. Here they go. Why did they go? Why did they I have what more to do. Go ahead, take one. Don't worry about it. It's just a melon bread. There's no need to. Master Chan, you are so polite. Why is that people getting his bread? Honestly. <laughs> oh, Never in my life have I heard of melon bread. Well, Japan apparently has square watermelon, so I don't question anything. I wonder how it tastes. Like watermelon? Melon? 
Grapefruit? <laughs> Is it like fruit cake? But like in bread? Oh. I wanna try this melon bread. I wonder how I'll many try. people loaf it. I've tried banana bread. Oh. Oh. And what's your opinion on banana bread? It wasn't bad. Oh yeah, I've tried some banana bread before. It's quite nice actually. Oh, God. Who's he? I want to know who he is! <laughs> you know, I love how he keeps talking about him and... You pretty much can guess who he's talking about. Oh, wait. I think I have an idea. No, no offense, but we're at the beginning of a social link, and this is Persona, so you know it's going to be upsetting. I can't really um, do the old lady voice at the moment. Oh, oh, that makes me feel so sad inside. Yeah, Persona does that to you. Your relationship You're is real stronger now. Here, take this card. <laughs> you know what? I would love it if your social link actually gave you the card. <laughs> Put it in Persona 5, Atlas! Here, it's a gift from me. Sorry I made you sad. <laughs> here, it's a, here, it's a gift, and I must say it's a smashing one of that. Oh, god <laughs> damn it! Smashing! No! No Nigel Thornberry! <laughs> Man, shit, we're reaching those doubles with everyone. And uh, me. Dark outside. I can see the sunlight. <laughs> I, I, I never got persona logic. We're talking to someone for five minutes during daytime. Something. Oh, it's evening. Well, you know, you talk for five <laughs> minutes and you smoke weed for the rest of the time. Uh, you must. You must be high to think of all those voices in your head. <laughs> I'm sorry, but when he was walking then, it looked like he was skipping. La 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 really happy. Skip, skip, skip to Malou. Skip, 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 skip. He heard about a boy dying and then all of a sudden he's skipping. Skip, 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 skip. <laughs> like, hi guys, death. <laughs> hey guys. Oh, hey, apparently we're going to Tartarus, so this won't be entirely boring. Why does Mitsuru look like she's about to go horse riding? I've never I... got that. I always thought that, I still don't know why. It's because she's rich and rich people horse ride, don't you guys get that? Oh. It's stereotypical. I was gonna say something back there, alright, who did it? Who broke the clock? Um, it wasn't me. How many years bad luck is that? Breaking a clock? Uh, yeah. Sounds years. God, we're f we're really really early into the game. We're only up to level five. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, floor, yeah, floor five out of what? Fucking three hundred odd. Sleeping at the thing. It tells you there, Fable, sex air. The thing is, at the beginning of the game, I tend to take my time because these guys can't stay in the dungeon for longer than 30 minutes, apparently. Oh, I was looking at the top right corner. I was like, why are there fives and fours there? You see, the thing is, I'm usually reckless when I'm in Tartarus, but s someone's picking up an echo. Might be me. Uh, yeah, that's definitely you, because I can hear your computer fan. It's so sorry. Well, I'm sorry. You can't affect a bad thing when my computer tends to die on me to the evening. Okay, that... Well, okay, it's done. that kind of substituted for the boring commentary we would have given in that battle. I actually had something interesting to say. Yeah, Johnny! And now I forgot what it is! God damn it! Stop assuming the worst out of me! Okay, I, re I remember... I remember now. I was gonna say, I'm usually reckless in Tartarus and just keep going for as long as I feel like going. But since these guys have the endurance of tissue paper, and my luck tends to be bad, I can't stay in here, otherwise I'll get to the field and die. Later in the game, we'll be going at about, what, 15 floors, maybe? 
just funny how uh, the most possible deaths that could be caused in this game is through the incompetence of your party members. Indeed. As I can tell from recording a certain boss fight. I'm going to I'm going to thumbnails like on the video. You're about ten minutes and now guys, you've got about say, twenty eight more of just Tartarus stuff, so you're either going we're either gonna be really quiet or we're just gonna say random shit half the time. Because there's honestly not you can honestly say so much in Tartarus missions until you just run out of stuff to say. True. I thought that case was a toilet. I mean, I mean, we've been talking this long right now, but who knows? I might just decide to cut out some of the silence we just... And I got a rash guard. P.S. If you like me, you'll get most of your equipment from Tartarus. Because fuck buying shit. A rash guard? Yeah. It got you from a rash. Apparently. You can get a rash? What, from the shadows? Are they infectious? Well, considering what the hell they do to people normally, I would say they're infectious. I guess so. So, is Rush some kind of status animal? No, that's just the name of the equipment. Oh. If Rash was a type of status ailment, it'd probably be in a game where you're a doctor. Oh. <laughs> or a math game. I'm confused, what's Rash now? I'm confused. I thought it was like a status element. It is no. not a status element, it is just what a is name it, a of that. <laughs> it's a piece of body armor. Oh. Oh, I get it. You wear it for so long, it gives you a rash. This is good. Oh. You know, we're going awfully in depth to a random, with a random piece of armor. Oh, look at those arms. I like these. I don't know why. I, just, I am really used to Persona 4 shadows now because I'm only used to them having two arms. Holy shit, Yukari did something! Holy shit, Yukari's doing something again! Holy shit, Yukari killed something. Holy shit, Yukari's useful! <laughs> Yay! Oh. If only shit is this useful in boss battles! <laughs> You probably can't tell, but I really wish I was playing the portable version of this. Oh, another considering toilet! The, considering the AI screw you over so much. I'm so used to being able to control my party that when Yukari just doesn't do shit I want her to do, it pisses me off! Oh, hint, you, hint, Yukari! Uh, 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 shade. You, have, you clearly have went for the pain I have if I can explain to the viewers my experience of the AI here. Please, um, the floor is yours. At least save that till we have the right character in our party. This is this is Yukari I'm talking about here. Basically, final boss of this game, okay, big bad boss. Took me about an hour to do, and just to beat this thing is really, really tough sometimes, and it can put a lot of pressure on you. And then this thing manages to have a move that can add any random status element to to your parties, right? And it charmed Yukari, I mean, if something's charmed, they'll go against their allies. And since Yukari's a healer, and I put her on healing, because that's why I always do for her most of the time, she used Deer Hand, the highest thing you could possibly have for healing in this game, which fully heals anything it attacks. In other words, fuck you, Charm, fuck you, Final Boss, fuck you, Yukari, Fuck you, battle system! Fuck everybody! <laughs> Honestly, I was so pissed because instead of taking one hour to do the boss, it took. Well, in other words, be careful once we get to the final boss. Or just don't use your car. Well, you kind of have to bring someone who knows high-level healing. And you carry the you carry really the only person that does that. Just get a persona to do it. Yes, but that will require you to stop attacking and healing. And let's face it, you're the only reliable person in your party. Very much. Oh, oh ninth floor. The ninth floor of Tartarus. Can you tell I'm running out of things to say? Oh, you know, hey! Tartarus? Oh, hey! What? 
Close right there. Close right there. Where are you going? <laughs> you were saying, Peach? I was gonna say, Tartarus feels kind of somewhat modern. I'm surprised they didn't have elevators. Their legs must be so, like, either core of muscle, or they're really tired, or they're used to such exercise. Probably a little bit of both. Considering Tartarus drains your energy anyway. Which, by the way, dick move. So now I realize why this episode is 30 minutes long, because we're fighting a boss! Oh. So hey, we get a boss! And I need to try to remember what the hell the strategy was for this guy. Actually, Shade, by the looks of it, we're fighting two. Actually, if I remember correctly, she said three. Big surprise! No, I mean. Uh, if, we fought, if we fought three bosses in one video. Okay, I know why I paused here. Because I was supposed to cut out all that Tartarus crap. But we actually talked, so now I can't turn off that cut out that Tartarus crap. So enjoy standing here for a couple of seconds. Yay! I love standing with the... Oh, who's that guy? Oh, oh look at him. Look at his metal frame. Oh, wait, hold on. No, I want to... <laughs> oh, crap. What? Ladies and gentlemen, meet the dancing hands! I got also, my jet hands on! Also known as pen pads. Oh, please let the dancing hands be enemies and dancing all night! <laughs> At least I think... In the background there, waving and dancing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're weak to bash, so you're gonna wanna use Orpheus a lot. Best and boss is deck. Yes. You're also going to want to pray that Junpei just does his normal attack, because if he doesn't, then you're just wasting time. Uh. Oh, P.S. P.S. You're going to be taking care of Junpei a lot in this. Also, make sure you have a persona that's at least resistant to fire. My eyes. My eyes, they hurt. Just... I'm not sure if this is the first time we're seeing Cadenza or not, but if it is... Hey, Cadenza! One of the first fusion techniques you can get in this game. And if you enjoyed... And if you enjoyed watching Persona Fusion stream portable playing with the female protagonist, you're a pair. Well, I'm not saying anything. I don't even know. These guys hate Junpei! What the hell? <laughs> I think Is it Sorry, you can't. I think they're trying to get you to hurry, but they get gender confused. I was gonna say, uh... Oh, wait, hold on. No, never mind. I actually forgot what I was gonna say. It happens to the best of us. And god damn it, well, how much evasion do these guys- Damn it, Jupe! Use your fucking sword! Yeah. Well, would, would it really matter, Shade, considering the fact that uh, both him and Cleave can do slash that damage? Yes, but for this you need Bash damage. True. I should remember what I was going to say. Um, so they click their fingers to put, cast a magic spell over you that hurts you. Yep. <laughs> I can set you on fire with just a snap of my fingers. Gives me a thought. How much ammo do they actually have to put in those guns to actually release some persona? <laughs> I'm not even sure if they use ammo. Yeah, it's best for you to do the healing in this because you'll still occasionally get the attack. While if you just have your Kyrie set to healing, she'll just always heal and waste an attack turn. And if there's no one to actually heal, she just wait out her turn. Which, by the way, is really stupid. Yes, it is. A wisely chosen attack. And finally. Oh. 
I love that ghost cloud effect. <laughs> Looks fun. Mosh pit! <laughs> God damn it, Junpei! God! No wait, that was me. God damn it, me! Stay sharp. <laughs> I blame you, Junpei. <laughs> it is somehow Junpei's fault. I know it. He didn't There's... use his damn sword. I see. If this was like in any other kind of case. Like, say someone else had lower health than you, you had 30 odd health and someone had 20 health. You're on the risk of dying. Yukari's AI would instantly switch to whoever had the lowest health, and that can really screw you over. Yep. Oh boy, I might come. So no matter what happens, if you can heal before Yukari, heal before Yukari. This would be a lot better. I can't have in the meantime. I kind of noticed, like, especially going for Persona 4, like, when you're a protagonist, they attack last, mostly. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's God damn it, that fucking Magaru! Yes, it's a waste of MP, but do you really- SP, but do you really care? God damn it, stupid. Yukari killed something twice in one video. Congratulations. She's this actually... isn't a boss, is it? Yes. It is. Oh, I wonder why it was so long for yeah. just what looked like a normal battle. They look like normal en enemies. I yeah, think they are enemies. normal enemies in 4. A lot of them. A lot of few of the bosses in Tarkov so are these things are normal enemies. And the further you go up Tartarus, bosses you once fought will become regular enemies. Oh, uh, we see. Oh, uh, it shows strength. And we got some experience. Am I the only one who thinks that experience in this game is surprisingly small? I mean, I'm used to getting like hundreds of experience, and I only occasionally get like high tens in this game. Yeah. To be fair, um, when you go for a new game plus and you go for the golden floor, it's so much easier to grind. I, bet I just realised, they don't have elevators, they have teleports. That's even better. Indeed it is. So anyway, if they don't say they're tired after that boss fight, immediately go down here, even if you don't have to, because it will reveal your entire health and SP. Hmm, interesting. And hell, if you just want a reason to come down here, go visit Igor. He wants your company. This is just a good, <laughs> this is just a good way to cheese the game. Indeed because you're ever low in health and you see a teleporter, just go to the teleporter. Yep. You mean Igor needs some special company? He's already got an assistant all to himself, the greedy bastard. Indeed. And we got chewing souls. Let's hope I don't waste them. What on earth could he need assisting with? Well, well he's an old man. He has needs in the shower. Yes, and Aww. we all know that, that nose ain't gonna stroke itself. Yeah, he needs he needs a second person to really stick their hand up there. Which Get nose? Off. It's two. <laughs> uh, basically, what what that his last note just? I'm just gonna say his longest nose. I know, not the one on his face. <laughs> oh Jesus! Anyway, what that last note just said basically is that when you you can split the party up if you want and cover more of Tartarus. But Although, who the hell is that? I do it, but mostly because I want more experience for me and fuck my party members. Wouldn't that also be dangerous? It is incredibly dangerous, but if you have some really high level magic and healing, you'll be fine. Even more dangerous. One more. Really, as long as you make sure your SP stays filled, you will not have to worry about soloing anything. As long as you don't try to solo a boss. Yeah, I agree with you. Unless you're naked, boss. Yes. 
Hell, I could probably solo death in Persona 4 right now. I won't because I'm not an idiot, but I probably could. Actually, speaking of ham, did we ever specifically say uh, what are the conditions for when death shows up in this game? One of the main conditions if you stay too long on the floor, but there are certain floors where it's like, basically what I've noticed is that there are certain floors that are sort of randomly generated. They'll have absolutely no enemies, but they'll have an amazing amount of loot, and they'll have about at least three golden chests. If you have a room like that, I'd recommend getting all the shit and getting out. Because if there's no enemies in a single floor, death will come quicker. Indeed. And you can tell you can tell he's around by the rattling of chains. And basically what death is is that he's the most powerful shadow in the entire game. And you could fight him at level one if you were unlucky enough. Oh no. But so it is it is recommended not to fight him until I at least think you're in your seventies. Oh, pretty much good. late game. Yeah. It's even He's hard to do. Strong. It's even hard to fight him in your 90s. The best thing to do is just to cheese him with a certain strategy. Indeed. Help me. Like I fought him level 99 and he's still struggling. I say don't go after him until you have like, what mind charge and the highest level attacks possible. Odin's really good because of Thunder Rain, which paralyzes him for a little while. Which I, and he actually. You want to repeat that because you cut out a little bit. Basically, Odin, I think the highest Emperor persona you can get. He knows a specific move that will paralyze him. Oh, hey, a new enemy. And you can just keep doing that. Yeah, it's, it's best to explore. It's like in most RPGs, you probably don't worry about status effects, but in this game, exploit them. Ex yes. I believe those are the trance twins. That looks painful what they're in. It looks like a TV in the middle. I like one you see on top of a house. They kind of reminded me of zombies. The, the twins are hangman, I believe the little floating thing is Empress. That's not Priestess. I am not sure because I've never really checked the Arcana for minor enemies. Magic Mirror, yes! It's not really the arcana that I can pay attention to, it's just that I know them by the mask. Ah, the mask. Good old mask. And there was a boss on the floor right above us. And apparently, hey, we get to fight it! Told you. Okay, I owe you five bucks. Woo! Wait, five bucks means nothing in Scotland, you bastard! Ha ha ha! Foiled again. Ugh! But I completely forgot what this boss is. I think it's a knight. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think it's a knight. We'll see you on the other side. If my memory says it's not a knight, it's uh oh god, it's one of those lance things where like the lance is coming at the side of their voice. Oh yeah, yeah. I think you're right. I think it is one of those. Ah. <gasps> It's passed out a bit there. Don't uh, look at dogs. I've been going through the I've been going through the game again to 100% at this time, so I'm, I've kind of got a good memory of what's been happening. Uh, let me just say, let me just say this, people: 100% Persona 3, a lot harder than it is to 100% 4. Oh wow! Look at him. And hey, you were right. Good luck. This yes. guy. This guy is fucking monster. And since it's Arcana is the chariot, it is very powerful when it comes to physical attacks. It's intimidating just to look at it. It really is. 
Yeah, you're gonna wanna cast some Raku Kaja or Taro Kaja or anything you have. It looks so defensive with all that iron thing going on. <laughs> Good old iron um, metal. Angry cop. Thank you for wasting our medicine, Junpei. Alright, so it's back to me. Uh... All right. Yeah, you might as well just have them both attack him and you stick on healing. Because let's face it, this thing is going to exploit that weakness of the carries till it dies. It will. Ow! Just like now. Another deck thing about bosses is that they can inst pretty much instantly recover. Indeed. No also, as, also, as you can see, he blocks physical, so there is no point to using any physical attacks at all. So, magic way then. Yep. Just try to keep some SP in there for healing purposes, but other than that, just use whatever magic you can. Hell, if for some reason you have the highest level magic in this game, use it. Oh, seriously? You have overkill much? This guy, this guy, this guy. Honestly, like, you do talk about like how this game is very unforgiving for a female stuff, but it is cheap as well. It really is. I hear that just by seeing. Yeah. Oh. Also, you can notice I'm using a lot of those attack gems. That's mostly because I don't want to waste my SP. Yes, but luckily enough, instant death stuff like murders and hammers, they have very low um, chances of actually hitting. But at the same time, if someone uses a high level instant death skill, you're like, shit, shit, shit. Shit, 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 shit. That thing has such strange legs. <laughs> I can't get over the fact they rotate. It reminds me of Sonic with the figure eight kind of thing going on. Yeah, they rotate so he can constantly kick your ass. Oh, God. I really do not like this guy. But I will just say, he's not the dick, the most dickish first boss you can ever have. First major boss, anyway. To be fair, um, the only reason these bosses are really hard is because this game doesn't isn't very good for grinding at the beginning. It really isn't. I'm having a difficult time through the beginning, but I'm sure once I get in the late game, I'll be fine. Yeah, it starts off slow, but the game is actually kind of more... Um, oh, I... Not as much, but that is kind of a concern most of the time. Yep. Yeah. Essentially, if you can make it through the beginning part, you should be fine going through the rest of it. Especially when you get those higher level personas. And if I do not heal you, Kari, she is going to die. And I switched her back to healing because this guy is almost dead. So it really okay. doesn't matter what the fuck she does. There's something kind of happy and sad about. The fact that in Persona 4, um, when the whole recovering thing for when you're weakened or critical, in this game you waste a turn getting up, but in Persona 4 you, it just counts as a turn but you still get to attack. It's good, in, in this game it's really good if you're against like an enemy and you're like, you're in kind of a pattern to make them constantly waste a turn getting back up, but at the same time when it happens to you it's just the most frustrating thing ever. It really is. But if you can exploit it against an enemy, it's probably one of the most cheapest but best tactics you've saw. Oh yeah, and you can't least that again. I would say at least the AI learns not to use it, not to use something that's strong against on the boss. Yeah. Mm. Cause I swear to God. If he kept using, if Junpei kept using cleave on this boss after it blocked it the first time, I would have ran over there and stabbed him myself. <laughs> I can actually see that. Someone making comments. 
Uh, I'll work on that later. Come on, Ikari, you got it! Ah! Damn it! Oh, you are close. This is if it teases you. Yes. It teases you indeed. I love how everything keeps missing Junpei. I've noticed that. Everything more or less misses him <laughs> towards the end of the fight. Yeah, I don't know if using the soul was the best unless you ran out of items. Shouldn't you return? Oh, yeah. Wait, was that? Yeah. I think the only major item I even use is that chewing soul. Yeah. Why did you say Lori? Iori. Iori. That's Jimpy's last name. Uh, I thought it said Lori because it was capital I, I thought it was L. Yeah, in the series, just can pronounce everyone by their surname. Kind of typical Japanese respect kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Wait. Is it his surname? Yeah, Jim P. Yoda. I'm just saying, because you know how they keep, like, switching with the last name first and the first name after that. So, do they say, so in this game, do they have it set up to where it's, like, first name, then last name, or last name, then first name? I think they have, um, last name, then first name in this one, but... Since war's a bit more American in some ways, it's more in first name. But I think in Japan, it's kind of a sign of respect. Ah. Or like, if it, you're respectful someone by using their last name, if you're like, good friend basis, they'll address you as your first name. Yep. And we have reached a dead end. Once you get to a point in Tartarus where you cannot advance any further, you pretty much have to just use the teleporter and go back down. If this was us in the party, I don't think Johnny could stomach this room. Oh, Indeed. thanks. You the know you can ask that handle, but... The electricity is hooked up, but why do they need so much? Oh. Wait. Are they using me to power Tartarus? <gasps> Plot twist! You'll find that it's pretty much every single dead end of a section of Tartarus, and it kind of hints to like who, whoever writes this is like hinting towards the player of what is Tartarus next. Yeah. Well, feels like it's the end of this video. Yep. So mm -hmm. next time, guys, we shall continue off with more social links. Bye. Adios.